Look, I know that the algebra here is very obvious, but the point of this exercise, the point of this question for you is to get you used to the arithmetize strategy, right? This is where we see a question like this. Often it says equivalent expression somewhere in the question. There's gonna be some sort of variable that is in the question itself, and then it carries through into the answer choices. We never need to solve for that variable. You need to recognize both of those things as great re uh, reasons to arithmetize and make up a number for the variable, and then to do arithmetic with that number instead of algebra. So in this case, just look at it, Let's make x equal to zero. What happens? Well, then this becomes, instead of zero plus five, just five, right? And this becomes two times zero minus three. Well, anything times zero is zero, and zero minus three is negative three. So five minus three is two. So the benefit of this is that we can very quickly look at the answers and see, okay, if I put zero in for all of these x's, it's also going to kill these terms. And since only one would have the number two right here, that's got to be the answer. Now look, again, I know the algebra here is probably just as easy to see, but the questions will get harder. You need to have a very strong arithmetized reflex so that when it does get hard, you are ready to go with that strategy. I don't care on the actual exam how you solve this. I mean, obviously if you get it wrong because you do algebra, that's really, really bad, but I don't think many people are going to be in that place. But if you can't see right away that this is at least an arithmetized opportunity, then you're going to have trouble when you really, really need the strategy for the hardest question. So get used to that. Anytime it's these equivalent expression questions, you've got a variable that doesn't matter, at least try arithmetizing. I'm not going to do any algebra for the questions in this set because I want you to get used to thinking about it from this strategy perspective.